quick. Oh man, bro. Wait. All right. Um. Hopefully, this mic is working. Hopefully, hopefully it's not. Hopefully this is not too loud. But um, we back with another video. Well, only thing different with this video. Uh, this is the very first episode of my um. Mm, I was going to call it kind of like a podcast, but I kind of want to make it like. I don't really know how to explain it. I want to do a podcast type of um type of video, and you feel me? But I'm not doing no cuts, bro. So if I mess up, bro, if I mess up, I'm not doing no. This is all, bro. If I mess up, y'all gonna see me mess up. We human, bro. But um, bro, why am I ner? I'm nervous, bro. Why am I nervous? So, I literally have no plan. I don't know what I'm going to talk about for real. But, bro, why am I ner- why am I nervous, bro? I literally don't know. So, let me just start off with saying, um, let me start off with saying why I'm doing this in the first place. I really, I've been wanting to do, I've been wanting to do this for a while when I got the idea um, before I moved, I knew, like, I would, I knew I would, um, have the whole setup in it and everything in my room, and I got the mic on my birthday, so I was like, but let me just, um, bro, why am I ner- bro, y'all gonna see this, bro, like, I have bad, like, I'm good at talking with, like, people I'm comfortable with, and, like, maybe, I don't know, it's just, I'm very... I don't really know. I'm like breathing hard, bro. But I don't want to stop the video though, because this is full. I think, bro, this is the real me, bro. Like for real, this is the this is the real me, and I want I don't want to be talking too loud in the mic, and I hopefully it doesn't mess up anything. But scratch all that I'm saying right now, and let's talk about why I start why I wanted to um start a podcast or like a talk show or whatever talking. To people, and I really just want to, I want to spit game. Well, I don't really have a lot of game to spit because I haven't lived, I haven't lived a lot, of, a lot of life. I'm only 16, so I mean I've experienced um a few things in life, but I haven't. You know, I'm only 16. I still got a lot of life. I still have a lot to live and a lot to learn. But yeah, I really just wanted to go in here and talk about anything and keep it real. And hopefully I can help somebody out with anything. And I really don't know why I'm so nervous. Like, I can't. I need to get better at talking. And that's another reason why I wanted to do this. Because I wanted to, um, I wanted to, um, get better at talking. So, and I really don't know what I want to talk about. I really just want to talk about, um, life experiences. Um, I posted on my Instagram and I said I want to talk about music, fashion, clothes, or anything for real. And bro, I don't know why. Like I'm not, I'm not doing no cuts. This is full. This is full me. I just gotta get used to it because this is the first time I've ever done anything like this, like talking. To like, I don't know. I really don't. I really don't know, bro. It's like I'm talking to somebody that I'm like uncomfortable, like that I'm uncomfortable around and I'm nervous I don't know why but um yeah that was my ramble about how nervous how nervous I am I really don't know why I just gotta talk because I feel like if I mess up I'm a um you know somebody gonna say something and you know like I have a self-conscious um I don't know how to say the word self-conscious about people like, I have confidence, but, you know, everybody, you know, everybody's human, we're not perfect, and everybody, you know, still has that thing, like, dang, bro, like, what if this ain't good, or, you know, like, it's, like, like people hating, but you never know, but, man, bro, I really don't know what, I don't know what I want to talk about, 
I guess I'll talk about, for starters, like, um, so, I do, I want to, where I am, I'm not going to say I want to, I am working on to, I, but I'm telling you, I'm not doing no cuss, bro, I am working on being a model, and I love fashion, and... I love taking pictures, bro. Like if y'all already, like if you know, if you know me, and then uh, I mean, all, all y'all, all of y'all already know me. But if you don't know me, I like doing modeling. Um, I want to be a model. That's one thing I want to um be. Um, I take pictures, bro. I can. I throw clothes on. I love clothes. And one thing I did want to talk about that um. I actually got questions on on my Instagram because I I put down ask me you know questions advice or whatever and I only got like two questions, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real, bro. I'm a bro. I'm gonna keep it real on this podcast or whatever this is, bro. I'm gonna keep it real. Keep it real. So let's talk about. Let's talk about how I um how I got into clothes, how I got into fashion, and that's really like my hobby, bro. It's just clothes. I love clothes. I love clothes, bro. I just I really don't know how to explain it. It's just my hobby, bro. It's my it's my passion. It's clothes and taking pictures and just all that. So I guess let's talk about how I got into clothes. And how I got into, you know, yeah, how I got into clothes, so, bro, bro, I'm not doing no cuss, bro, I don't know why it's so hard for me, alright, so, let's go, let's go, um, let's go all the way back to when I used to live, if y'all don't know, I used to live in, um, Texas, in San Antonio, and now I'm living in Alabama. That's a crazy change, but that's a whole different story. I'll probably tell later on. But when I moved back over here, um, I started kind of, I wanted to be different from a lot of people because a lot of people, a lot of people down here, if you don't know, like, and there's no shame, no, like, bashing anybody on Whatever they got going on down here. But I'm just, I'm not with the cow. I'm not with like the, you know, that cowboy. You know, if you know, you know, bro, in Alabama. If you know, you know. And I'm not with all that. <laughs> I'm not. I've always been, like, ever since I moved back here, bro, I've always been a, the center of a, of attention. Not not in a bad way. And that's not on no, um like, egotistical. You know, like, I'm not trying to be like, you know, you feel me, like I'm special or anything, but I have always, like, people have talked about me, because I've, I've been different since I moved, um, back to my hometown, and I really don't know how I really got, I don't really know the first thing, or what happened, that I got into clothes, I just really wanted to, I think I wanted to have more confidence in myself, that's the big that's one of the things about clothes, bro, is confidence. Confidence. Like, that's one thing. If you are into clothes, if you're, into, you know, into dressing up, you do it You do it because you have more confidence in yourself. And lately I've been, um, I've been learning to have confidence without clothes. But, for me, that's a whole different story, too. But, so, I moved back. And when I moved back, I was wearing, at first, I wasn't wearing nothing crazy. And then, like, the second year, I started, you know, trying different things and different clothes. And then I started painting my nails. And that's one thing that a lot of people didn't see coming. Like, I was painting my nails. And it was just, I was just doing tons of different stuff. Like, like I still do. I was just, I don't like to be the same as as anybody. I don't like to, I like to be me, I like to be original. I like to be different. And I know, um, I feel like saying 
I want to be different. It's kind of corny now. I um, I feel like saying you. I feel like saying you want to be different. It's kind of corny. Um, but I really do like. I want to be my own self. That's that's one of the things I've been. I've been striving for and been talking about ever since I came back here, bro. I just wanted to be myself and I wanted to do different things than anybody in my state. Like the people I live around, bro. I wanted to be different. And that's just me. Like I wanted to be you know I me. Mean? You feel me? I want to be something and I'm st- I'm not saying I, I'm not anything right now. I mean, I will be in the future, but that's what I'm working on. But yeah, when I got into how I got into clothes and everything, I just I wanted to have confidence in myself because when I when I used to live in um when I used to live in San Antonio, um I used to wear the same thing, and that was just like you know how like you be getting dressed by your um your parents and stuff like that and stuff like that. That's what I was doing. I I didn't have any like I feel like I didn't have any personality. I don't really I can't really explain it. I was in I was into dancing a lot. I used to dance, bro. I used to dance so much. I used to dance so much. And I was like before I moved over here, I wasn't into clothes. I wasn't into anything. I was bro, I was dancing my head off. I was dancing a lot. So yeah, when I was in San Antonio, bro, I didn't, I did I, I, I just wasn't, I mean, I still wanted to have nice, like, I still wanted to throw a fit on and be like, okay, but I didn't, you know, I didn't know anything about clothes at all. And, bro, when I was in Texas, I fed into the crowd, and that's one thing I didn't do when I moved back. That's one thing I didn't do. I didn't, I didn't follow the crowd. I didn't feed it. I didn't feed into the crowd either. And I, and that really saved me, bro. Like, I really could have moved back here and tried to be like everybody else. And if you live here, you know what I mean. You know the people that live here, like. And there's no, there's, that's not no shame, that's not no me dissing nobody about being them. That's just not me. And, but when I started doing all these different things, I started, I started painting my nails, I started wearing different clothes. Um, I had, people started talking. And, bro, you're not doing something right if people are not talking about you. That's just, that's a plain, that's one thing. I'm gonna tell anybody who is doing, bro. Anybody who is doing anything on social media, or creating, or doing anything, bro. People, when people are talking about you, you're doing something right. So, and I had to learn that. I had to learn that because everybody didn't see my vision. Everybody didn't see where I was coming from. And, you know, it's just, yeah, I I got into clothes because I wanted to be, I wanted to, I wanted to have confidence in myself. And at the time, quote, quote, unquote, I wanted to be different than anybody, than everybody. I mean, I still do, but I just don't use the term, I want to be different. Now I'm saying I want to be original. You feel me? I want to be original. And, yeah. And all that got me into taking pictures. When I got into clothes, I I started taking pictures. And then, after I started taking pictures, um, bro, I started, I got, I really don't know how to, I don't don't really know what time it was when I was like, bro, I want to, I think I want to do modeling. Like, I want to model, like. It might have been a year ago when I was like, yeah, I think I want to, like, I want to do this, like, as a, like, my passion. I want to model. I don't know where, i bro, I'm not doing no cuts, bro. I'm stuttering. I'm not, um, what was I saying? Bro, 
Uh, what was I saying, bro? Um. Oh, I don't know when I got, like, I don't know when I, I had that thought in my head. I was like, oh, I'm going to do fashion. No, no. Oh, I'm going to do modeling. My fault. I was like, oh, I'm going to do modeling. Like, I think I want to do, I think I want to be a model. I think it just came to me, like, after all the clothes and everything. And the things I was watching on, like, YouTube, like, the people I was watching, shout out, shout out to um Cash K. You feel me? The life of Cash K. Um... Big shout out, big shout out to him, and I was just watching tons of stuff, bro, like, I, I started just learning about clothes and sneakers, and now, let's talk about the present, um, bro, I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm changing, I'm changing every day, I mean, we're all changing, but, yeah, that's how I got into clothes, bro. I really just wanted to step out my comfort zone and just do something different. Than, Cause when I moved, when I moved back here, when I moved back down here, it the people down here got repetitive. Like if you live here, you know what I mean, bro. And yeah, I just wanted to do something different. I didn't want to, so let's have this conversation, let's have this conversation, bro, um, let me, t- dang, bro, it's only 16 minutes, oh my god, bro, <laughs> okay, so, let's talk about, let's talk about, um, the things people do down here, like, when I came down here, I ne- I didn't want to play no sports, like, that's one thing, I didn't want to do, bro, and, I, bro, people literally, I'm not finna say no names or anything, I'm not finna say no names on this podcast, um, everything I talk about is me, and if you know who I'm talking about, uh, yeah, that's for, like, future references to, um, story times, I tell y'all on the story, I mean, tell y'all on the podcast, but, people used to tell me, bro, like, why are you trying to be so different, bro? I literally, bro, I didn't play no sports, bro, because I didn't, bro, I didn't want to. First of all, I don't like sports, bro. Like, sports is cool and all, but I wanted to be, like, bro, people were right, but I wanted to be different, and I want to be different, bro. Like, I, I wanted to do something different in my family other than sports, and I wanted to do something different than everybody in my City, bro, than sports. I wanted to do something different. And if you play sports, that is all you, bro. Like, you know, big ups to anybody who plays um sports. Like, I hope y'all the best, but that's just not me. Like, when I moved down here, I didn't, bro, it was just me. I didn't want to be like everybody down here. And I really don't know where that mindset came from. I don't know where my mindset came from. When I moved down here, I really don't I really don't know, bro. I think it was just things that happened to me and the long story time and like I tell I don't want to talk about that right now, but you know, from me moving from my state, I used to live in for a long time, bro. I was in San Antonio for seven years. I had best friends since I was, like, in second grade, and I left all of them, and, bro, I had, like, me and my mom had no choice, like, I can't talk, I'm not gonna talk about it right now, but me and my mom had no choice, like, no choice, we had to move, and we had to get out, we had to get out, like, that's a, like, like I said, that's another story for another day, but I thank God that. We did leave because if we didn't leave, I really hope this mic isn't too loud. But I thank God that we left because if we didn't leave, I probably wouldn't be doing all the things I'm doing right now because everything happens for a reason. And yeah, to sum all that up, that is how I got into clothes and fashion and everything. 
I really, it, I just wanted to have, con- I just wanted to have confidence in myself. That's all it was. Like I wanted to have, I wanted to have confidence in myself, and I, I never really had confidence in myself for real. Like before, I don't, re- I don't really remember. But I feel like I felt like. I feel like clothes um really brought that to me, like confidence. And now that I'm learning, I don't need clothes to have confidence in myself. Bro, it's all within you. That's another thing I'm learning, bro. It's just, it's all within you. Like, the, the clothes don't matter, bro. It's all within you. The self-love, bro, you got to love yourself. If you don't love yourself, you're not going to love the clothes you put on, bro. You're not going to love, like, that's one thing we, that's one thing as humans we all struggle with, bro, is self-love. Tell me if I'm wrong or not, bro. Self-love, bro, is something we all struggle with. And I think I got a pretty good bit of it, like, that sounded cock, that sounded corny. <laughs> that sounded corny, but, but... <laughs> Oh God, bro. But um, yeah, I I feel like that's something we all struggle with, bro. Is um, is self love. So yeah, bro. I really don't know what I want to talk about, bro. I really don't know. Um, that was really the only question I got on Instagram was about how I got into um clothes. Wait, let me see. Let me see. Um, I believe it was like how I got to close. Cause you feel me? That's what people want to know. So I'm gonna give y'all what y'all want to know. Uh, where's it at? Oh, yeah. What got me into fashion and when did I first discover that I like fashion? Um. And I should explain. I literally just explained it to y'all. And now, fashion and clothes and all that, that's a different story. But when it comes to modeling, I got that, like, later on. Like, I really didn't, it didn't click until, like, a year ago that I was like, yeah, I want to I do modeling. And now, I'm really just, um, I'm really just trying to, um, what's that word? Get my, you know, like, I'm trying to, bro, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm just trying to get better at the thing. I'm trying to get better at the things I'm doing. Um, I'm trying to be more creative. Every picture I take, I want to, I want to make it have a meaning behind it. I want it to be, you know, creative and original. That's what I'll be, that's what I'm meaning by me, me being different. I want it to be original. I want, I want. I want me to be original. Like, I want to be original. And that's what, like, that's how you blow up. That's how you, um, I guess get the, um, you feel me? Get successful. You be original. And no one can take that from you. When you get that, and you, when you be yourself, and you get that, you, when you get that, um, I, can't, I, don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but. If y'all know what I'm trying to say, y'all know what I'm trying to say, bro. I don't know why this is so hard for me, bro. I really don't know. <laughs> this is the first episode. I don't care. No cuts, bro. Look, look. This is all like this is the real me. The real me. I don't want to have no phony pod. I don't want to have no phony podcast where there's cuts every 25 seconds. And that's what I do with my YouTube videos. Like, I have cuts because I mess up and I, I be stuttering. I be talking too fast. And I don't know. Um, Most of the time, when I'm talking about clothes, I don't know what to say. That's not me saying, like, I don't know about, like, I don't know about, like, clothes. I just, most of the time, I really, I'm not good at talking, for real. When it comes to, um, I mean, I am. It really just, it really just depends. It really just depends. But yeah, fashion and modeling, that's what I do. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm working on right now. Uh, I guess we can talk about that. Right now, 
I'm really just I'm really um trying to get my name out there right now, like taking pictures, getting my, get, getting my name out there, and doing different stuff like like this to get my name out there, and getting more hobbies, bro. And just doing different stuff. That's one of the reasons. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to to do this. That's because I wanted to um find a find a different way to get my name out there. So, you know, and I'm not finna make this like, like, I like, I don't want to be no daggum po- podcast host, bro. Like, I just want to, I, I literally wanted to do this because I wanted to just talk, bro. Literally just talk about anything, like, just like real stuff, like conversations and just talk. But, um, yeah, that's the questions I had. Um. About fashion and stuff like that. And I'm trying to think what I wanted to talk about. The thing I actually wanted to talk about when I got up on here. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think. Oh, okay. So, and another reason why I wanted to do this, bro, because I'll be having a lot of thoughts in my head that... I don't really talk. I don't really talk about. I mean, to it's just like you know how everybody has personal thoughts about certain things, and so one thing I've been thinking about is um balance, like balancing life. It could be with like I'm trying to think, like finding a balance between chasing your dreams. And having fun. And, but I don't want to make this seem, I don't want to make this podcast seem like I'm trying to be woke. But, like, I don't want to make it corny. That's one thing. Like, one thing that I really struggle with is I don't want to make things I do look corny. Like, I don't want, like, for example, like, pictures I take. I don't want to make, I don't want the pictures to look corny, bro. Like, and I really don't, I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. But I don't like being corny, bro. Yeah, bro. I don't know. But so let's talk about balance and like you know balance in your life. So I be thinking about this a lot because I get in my head a lot about me chasing my dreams and me, um, you know, like. If I'm having fun or, like, doing something, I feel like I'm wasting my time and not, like, pursuing my dreams and not, like, putting stuff out and not taking pictures. But this is where the balance comes in. So, I I feel like this comes with anything in life. You got to find a balance. You got to find a balance within everything you do. So... What I mean is about what I mean about balance. Um. So, okay, <laughs> bro. Okay, so. So doing like. What I mean by balance is like chasing the dreams, and then having fun. Like you can, you, bro. You can still have fun and still chase your dreams. Like and still do. You know, like, still do the stuff you like. But the thing about what I'm trying to say about balance, you can still have fun, but don't do, don't do no dumb, like, don't do anything dumb to make yourself lose that balance. Like, don't do anything dumb to make yourself lose that balance where you can't get back up and you can't go back. And, you know, to the other side of the balance, bro, like, the side where you're, um, you know, you're serious about life. That's what I'm trying to get at. Balance is, um, you know, being serious and being, like, being serious about life. And then, I, and then on the other side, having fun with life at the same time. Because, like, you got to be serious about life sometimes, like. You can't just mess around all the time, and that's what most people do. Like, 
a lot of people don't care about life and they mess around and they um they just don't care. But yeah, they just a lot of people don't care about and a lot, a lot of people don't have balance in their life. And that's one thing I've been thinking about and that's one thing I've been working on too is I got to find a balance within chasing my dreams and being passionate and being serious about my life. And then on the other side, I need to close that out and, you know, have fun, like have fun because I'm still a teenager, bro. I still have so much life to live, like, but I'm in my head. I'm in my head a lot about a lot of things. I feel like that's another thing about um, people. We get in our head a lot and overthink about, bro, about everything, bro. People, uh, like, that's one thing people have problems, like, problems about. They overthink everything. And that's one thing I do. I overthink a lot. And that's one thing I am trying to get better at. It's just, bro, you got to gotta find a balance you gotta get out of your head and have some fun, bro. Like, you gotta get out of your head and be like, bro, don't take everything so serious. Don't take everything so serious. But I'm kind of concentrate, concentrate. What's that, bro? I can't be, I can't speak most of the time, but don't take it so serious, but at the same time, take it serious. Like, don't take it too serious where. You can't have no fun. Like, you can't go out and, like, you know, have fun, bro. Because that's all, bro. Life is all about having fun. But at the same time, don't mess it up. And don't fumble your dream with you having fun and doing something dumb. That's the thing I've been talking about, about balance, bro. You got to find balance in your life with anything you're doing. You that I'm talking to right now, you gotta find balance. You you have to find balance in what you are doing in life, and have fun, bro. Like just have fun in life with the things you're doing. Um, on like um, you know, on a passionate, on a passionate side and like a dream side with with you like chasing your dreams and stuff like that. You have to um, you know. You have to find the joy in it. Like, that's... You, you're you not going to get anywhere if you're not having fun with what you're doing, bro. You're not going to get anywhere. So, I was... Bro, most of this whole video, bro, I was just rambling about... I just didn't know what to say, bro. I'm, this is my first video. I was stuttering. I was saying, bro, there's no cuss in this... Bro, look, we got a drip on soup. Paris on the neck. Um, We going... Vintage tea by the weight, but look, bro. Um, yeah. Don't take everything so serious, bro. Don't take everything so serious. Have fun with life, but at the same time, take it serious, bro. Like you get, you have to find a balance. And I guess that's the um thing I wanted to talk about on here is finding balance with what you're doing. But yeah, um, I know like first half of this video I was just talking about, I really, bro, I don't know what to talk about. I got, that's the reason why I wanted to start this podcast, bro. It's because I wanted to get better at talking. And that's one thing in life that we all, you feel me, we all, we all have a voice. And it's just, it's just how you, it's just how you use your voice. We all got a voice, bro. We all got a voice. You can you can use it in a good way. You can talk you can come up on here and say some um out of pocket things and just start rambling about things that don't matter. But yeah, we all bro, we all got a voice, but and I wanna get better at my voice, you feel me? And I like talking, bro. I like having conversations, I like talking about real things. Um yeah, like people close to me, people who are like really close to me, they know I can I can have a deep conversation. And most of the time, I'm not the one talking. Like I'm, I feel like I'm a person that listens instead instead of 
talks. Like I'm a good I'm a good listener. When it comes to talking to people, bro, I'm a good listener. And I understand people. But if you know me closely, bro, you know I like I like having deep conversations. And I like um I don't know, I just like talking about real stuff. And I, I like talking about funny stuff too, but I like having fun, bro. And I feel like a lot of people I feel like a lot of people take me as um a lame for um not doing like the things people are doing like say for instance drugs and everything smoking I don't do that if you if you don't know me I don't smoke I don't drink I don't do anything I'm 16 and um yeah that's where I live by bro that's what I promised to my um granddad and my whole family bro rest in peace to um my granddad but yeah I'm not with all that bro and that's just how um that's just how it is, bro. Like I'm fun. I'm I'm bro, I'm very I'm a very cool person to hang with, bro. Like I'm a very cool person. I just ha- you just have to you just have to you know you have to get to know me, bro. You you gotta get to um know me, and we gotta talk for a while, like a little bit, and then yeah, yeah. If I rock with you, if I rock with you, I rock with you, bro. And I revet, I'm very real. That's one thing. That's one thing I take pride in. With myself, bro. I, but I'm, I'm real, bro. Like I don't, I don't like, I don't like fake, bro. I don't like fake people. I don't. I like. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I'm, I'm loyal, bro. Like loyalty is something I take very, very, very serious when it comes to. Religious relationships, friendships, like anything about loyalty is one thing I take a lot of pride in. And yeah, bro, I'm just a, bro, I'm a cool person to hang with. Even like just because I don't do anything crazy, like smoke, drink, do anything crazy. I'm a cool dude, bro. People, I feel like people, um, think I'm just lame, bro. Like. Maybe that's just me. I, f- I feel like people should think I don't like, you know what I'm saying? I'm out, bro. I'm really a person. But look, look, let me let me go out the script. Let me talk about um like me personally. Bro, I don't um I don't hang with nobody, bro. I like hanging by myself. I take a lot of time with myself cuz um is my hair straight? I take a lot. I take a lot of time with myself because um, I don't know. I like it's just me finding myself. That's really all it is. Like I'm always trying to find myself. I'm always trying to get better, do better. And when I'm when I'm hanging with people, bro, I'm not talking about the people close to me. I'm not talking about people I love like to death. I'm talking about people I shouldn't be hanging with, bro. I don't got time for that. I don't, I don't got time for that. Like I'm funny. Like I'm a, I'm a cool person to hang with, and I'm a good, I'm a good person to hang with. But when it comes to like doing dumb stuff, bro, I'm not in the equation, bro. I'm out. Like I'm by myself, and that's not. I feel like I'm sounding um ego. You know what I'm saying? Like little ego. I feel like I'm too. You know, I'm not trying to say I'm better than anybody. I just about I like hanging by myself. That's all. It, like I like hanging. I like hanging by myself, and a lot, and I'm, I'm thankful that, I'm thankful that I'm very, um, you know, I'm like extroverted, but I'm, I'm introverted too, like, I say I'm more, I'm, I say I'm more introverted though, but I thank God for that, because all that time, I found myself, like, all that time, like, by myself, I've learned I've learned a lot of things about me, about myself, and I still am though. But yeah, that's just a little thing about me. I'm a cool I'm a cool person, bro. You just have to you just have to get to know me. And if you do anything crazy, um, like things I'm not on, I'm not gonna hang with you, bro. That's just how it is. Like I like people have my same vibe, and I like I'm really big on um energy. Loyalty, bro, and just personality and people, like people's personality and stuff. And yeah, bro, I'm a I'm a cool person to hang with, bro. 
it's just I feel like some people should say I'm lame because I don't do all these things that other people are doing. And I try too hard to be different, bro. And I, you know, this and that, bro. Stop. Just stop, bro. Like, come on, bro. But, yeah, I'm, I'm cool, bro. You just got to get to know me. And I don't talk a lot. Like, I don't talk a lot at school. Or to people, I don't have a, I don't have any friends, bro. Bro, I hang on my best friend, Cade. Shout out to Cade, bro. Shout out to Cade. He's gonna be on the podcast. I don't know when, but he's gonna be in the podcast soon. But yeah, I just I don't have any friends, and that's bro. I have no friends because me, I made that decision for myself. Because I feel like if I have a bigger circle with Pete, like I feel like fake people are always in bigger circles, like. I have a so I have a very very small circle because I like you know I'm very picky on the people I hang with because a lot of people are fake a lot of people are you know snakes bro like like you should like if you're watching this you should already know people are, people are fake people are snakes and I keep a very small circle I got my best friend Cade hang I hang with him like most of the time like and then. The other people I hang with is my family. Like, I love hanging with family, bro. Family's my everything, bro. Even though, like, my family, there's a lot of um things I can talk about in the future episodes. But there's a lot of things about a lot, bro. But, yeah. Oh, shoot. But, yeah. Family. Let me hang out with family, bro. My boy K. Um, I taught everybody cool with me at school, but I really just don't. I don't know. I'm just like to be by myself, and that I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to sound corny when I say all this stuff, bro. Like I don't wanna. I don't wanna sound corny. It's just the truth. It's bro. This is literally all the truth. I just don't, bro. I just like hanging by myself, bro. That's just how it is. I'm not trying to be no cornball. I'm not trying to be corny. Uh, it's not no, you know, no ego, bro. I just don't. I just like hanging by myself. And, yeah. People might think I'm lame for that. People might think I'm cool for that. Whatever they think. I don't care. Personally, I really don't care. I mean, it's, bro, it's me for you, bro. Been 42 minutes, bro. I've been talking for 42 minutes. What the heck? Okay, wait, wait. I'm, tri- wait, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Boom, bae. All right, I'm sorry. Hey, this mic is fire, though. This mic is fire. But yeah, I just gave y'all a whole, a whole rundown about me personally. And what I do. And some updates on what I'm doing right now. Trying to get my name out there. Taking pictures um, as much as I can. Doing different things. I think I want to start making little movies too. Like I want to. I just want to do tons of cool stuff. I want to make art bro. I, I love to create stuff. I love to put out original things from me. And everything I everything I put out is all original, and it's I want to say it's all original because I feel like nothing is original because we all we all get inspiration from from anybody we we all get inspiration from somebody. But yeah, getting my name out there, taking pictures, bro, finding new things, getting more hobbies, enjoying life. I'm about to um I need to go get my permit. Start driving. That's one thing, bro. I think I think I wanted to talk about this on the podcast. Like I want to talk about um things I struggle with and like things I struggle with. Yeah, I just I repeated my I repeated myself, but I really hope this mic is not messing up. I'm gonna be so mad. Um, let's thank God. Let's pray to God though. Let's pray to God. Let's pray to God. But um, what was I about to say? Oh, I wanted to talk about things I struggle with, and one thing I'm struggling with. It's a fear, bro. Bro. So, I'm about to get my permit. But I'm scared to drive, bro. Like. (laughs) Bro, I don't. Bro. 
I'm a, I'm gonna have to face, bro. It's no way around it, bro. I gotta face my fears, bro. If I don't face my fears, I'm never gonna, bro. It's a part of life. Like driving and everything. This is a part of life, and I'm scared of it. I don't know, bro. Like I wanna be a hundred percent real with all y'all. Like I don't know why I'm scared. Like so, I I drove like a few um months ago, and bro, people are probably thinking. He probably think I'm I'm a little um you know scary cat and all that, but I'm a, I'm gonna keep it a hundred percent real with all y'all, and that's one thing I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna have like that's one thing I want y'all to know on this podcast or whatever this is, bro. I'm real and I'm gonna tell y'all the truth, but yeah, I drove like um a few months ago with my uncle Ethan. And it was my first time, like, it was my first time driving, but it was my first time actually, like, you know what I'm saying, cruising in the neighborhood. Bro, my leg was shaking the whole entire time. The leg was shaking the whole entire time. Bro, my leg was shaking the whole time. I don't know why I'm so scared. I'm just, like, I'm not scared of driving. I'm just scared of the people around me, and I feel like, I don't know. I just have to get over that fear. That's just something I want to tell y'all. Because, um, yeah, I can't talk about it because people want me to drive. But people want me to drive. I mean, I want to drive too. But I'm scared. And I just have to live with it. I got to get over the fear. I got to drive. Because if I, if I don't drive, I can't, you know, pick up. <clears throat> pick up no shot. You know what I'm saying? Pick up no girls. You know what I'm saying? Go take some pics, bro. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Bro. Y'all already know, bro. I can't, no, can't. I, bro, driving is freedom, bro. I can't go take no pics if I don't. I mean, I can. But, Marsh is, you know. All that being said, I got to get on my fear. And I'm going to get my permit this week. I'm going to get my permit. That is on whatever y'all want to say, bro. It's on whatever y'all. Whatever y'all want to put it on, I'll put it on. But, I'm going to get it this week. Oh, that's my goal. But yeah, I don't know how I've been talking for 47 minutes. And I feel like I haven't been talking about anything. I feel like I haven't been talking about nothing. And so, I feel like I've just been rambling about random stuff. And and one thing about me that I'm learning right now, I get better as I keep talking, bro. It's like, I'm bad. Like, I'm bad... When it when I first start talking and then I get the groove of it, like you feel me? I get the groove of it. That's exactly how how I am with pictures, bro. Right when I get up, I mean, right when I go, I still get nervous when I'm out, like taking pictures. But at this point, bro, I just realize, bro, I just gotta be myself and just worry about whatever people got going on. They can worry about what they got going on, and I gotta worry about what I got going on. And yeah, what was I talking about? That's what I'm saying. I'm rambling, bro. I'm rambling. I'm rambling about it. it's just everything. First podcast, by the way. How was it? I'm boy. I'm really tripping on how it's already been 48 minutes, bro. Bro, when you're talking, it's not really goes by fast. Um, I don't even know what I was talking about. Let's talk about the guests uh, coming on the show or whatever um, we got going on. When we have some guests, uh, family members. Somebody said they want to get on the. Uh, somebody said they wanted to um get get on the show. And I don't really know how that's gonna go. But if you know who I'm talking, you if you're watching this. You probably all watching this, but I don't really know how that's gonna go with you on the podcast. And you know how I'm talking about you. If you know, you know. But yeah, I, I really don't know how that's gonna go. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm gonna have family on here. I'm gonna have my boy Dylan, Uncle Dill, Uncle Dylan in the cut, Uncle Dill. If y'all already know Uncle Dylan, I'm gonna have him on the podcast. And, but I love him, bro. He talk about, bro. He he's one of the reasons why I, I be having so much like 
I want to say wisdom, but bro, I give big shout out. I big, I give big shout outs to my uncle, bro. Dylan, if you're watching this, love you. And my dad and my mom, bro. It's just I give shout out. I I give a shout out to everybody, in my family, for real. like people who um stick stick beside me no matter what. I give I give ups to y'all. I give credit y'all, but um yeah, guests on the show, family, um coming on the show. I'll be having anybody, no, not anybody, I'm tripping, not anybody, but, yeah, I'm really sure, um, yeah, 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 I was about to say something, but I'm not going to talk about it, um, actually, I don't know why I said that, bro, I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm trying to think on how that was, how, you know what I'm saying, this person said they want to be on the podcast, and I really don't know how that's going to work, uh, and yeah. I mean, I mean, if they want to be on the podcast, they can be on the podcast, but we got, um, <clears throat> might have a few things to talk about, I don't know, though, tell me, but yeah, probably the next, the next, the next episode, I'll probably have Cade or Mason on here, and yeah, but I feel like I haven't talked about a lot of stuff on this podcast, or this video, but I feel like I did, I feel like I've talked about, um, Things I haven't looked at myself, bro. I feel like I look crazy, bro. I have a bro. all right. Um, I'm running, I'm running out of um, I'm running out of storage on my phone, bro. That's crazy that I talked for an hour, bro. all right, a hour already. But um, I think I'm gonna stop it here. I was just rambling. I, I, I really don't know what I was trying to, but this is the first episode. Give me a break. This is the first episode. Give me a break. And yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. I literally like this is what it's gonna be like. It's just gonna be me trying to get used to this talking. If you wanna watch, you can watch. If you actually support me, you're gonna support me. If you love me, you're gonna show some support to the boy. But yeah, um, yeah, this is me, authentic bro. Conversation with Dre. I think that's what I'm gonna call it. So, love y'all. Um. Hey, yeah, bro, I think I did really bad, but I don't care. This is the first episode, bro. I got to get better at talking, so love, peace. Uh, yeah, stay fly. And, bro, keep having confidence in yourself, bro. And, uh, yeah.